Well, the Wilmington Blue Rocks are back home for their first series in Wilmington of the 2023 season. Amy Jennings here with Bobby Blanco. And Bobby, this Wilmington roster is pretty stacked. It includes a lot of highly ranked Nationals prospect, including their number one overall prospect in James Wood. Yeah, number one who flew up the rankings over the last season. He had a strong end to the 2022 season. Of course, coming over in that Juan Soto trade with the Padres, one of the five prospects the Nationals got back. He had a pretty good season uh, over two months at Fredericksburg single A. We thought he might make the jump up here to Wilmington to end the season, but he ended up staying with the Fred Nats for their postseason run. He breaks camp with the Nationals in 2022, plays one exhibition game at Nats Park against the Yankees, and now here with the Blue Rocks for his first phase of high A ball. And we got to talk to James today about his transition to high A. Here's James. I just think adjusting well, just, you know, still trying to get to know my team or coaches, teammates, you know, getting used to the different arms, seeing different teams and all that. So it's a lot of fun. I think we're gonna we're gonna be scaring a lot of pitchers, you know, putting a lot of runs up on the board. So I, I think we got a really deep lineup, so it'll be a lot of fun. Including some of the other talent on this roster is a lot of outfield talent. And actually one of them is TJ White, who was still listed as an outfielder on the Wilmington roster, but he actually made the move to first base this offseason. Yeah, TJ White is ranked as Nats number 10 prospect in both MLB Pipeline and Baseball America's rankings. And he, you're right, there's a lot of outfield prospects. Even look down at single A Fredericksburg. You got, of course, Elijah Green's down there too. The Nationals decide to move White, a switch hitter, over to first base, try to get him more reps and give him a better chance to rise through the ranks up to the upper levels of the minor league system and hopefully, of course, the major leagues. I think that's where uh, right now they can see that he can get the more at-bats, you know. Uh, it's, it's also a tool for him to be able to move across uh, the minor leagues. You know, somebody can play first base, play in the outfield. We know that he can play in the corners in the outfield. So now developing him to play first base, it will help him out uh, to get to where he needs to be. I mean, it's different, but uh, I like it. I just... You know, I'm just trying to get the necessary reps that I need every day, and uh, I feel like it's coming along pretty well. He's coming out every day early, work with, with Harris, who does a great job with the infielders, and, you know, it's it's a process. Even when they get to the big leagues, they got to continue to develop and continue to work, and, and we're hoping that he can continue to do that. Uh, obviously, the bat is his number one tool. We just want to make sure that that glove is close enough so he can help us on both sides of the game. It should be an interesting and exciting season here for the Wilmington Blue Rocks. For Bobby Blanco, I'm Amy Jennings.